investors and traders and welcome to the weekly market report with the market guys I'm AJ Monty this is a one-year daily candle chart of the Russell 2000 index and I've left my lines on the chart from last week so you can see how accurate the candle charts have been over and over each and every week I show the evidence in what's going on with regard to forecasting the market with a goal to teach you, the investor, how to read the charts with great accuracy. Now again, as I zoom in here, these lines are what I drew last week. And I said that the Russell 2000 would test this high right here, which was from May 2nd. And then I said there was a good chance that we were going to break down below the trend line. And this is the channel, by the way, and I mentioned that and identified that. I said that we would break down below the channel line, and I drew this diagonal line. Now, look at how accurate that low is. Again, last week I recorded this, and you can go on the market, guys, and look at the evidence yourself to see what was put out last week, and then all you have to do is compare your current charts to what I put out last week, and you'll see for yourself how accurate the candle charts really are. So that is what's happening with the Russell 2000. Now, if you notice very closely here, we are now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more for you, this is a bullish engulfing pattern. This is a bullish engulfing pattern right there. So what I think we will see for next week is we're going to see a retest of this former channel line and this bullish engulfing pattern could very well result in a short-term rally next week right up to that channel line where I think we'll fall back and go back down from that resistance area. So that's my forecast for the Russell 2000. Now if you look at the spiders, that's ticker symbol SPY, you'll see that the picture is just slightly different here in that I did say we would move up a little bit. We did that on Monday and we came right to the high. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So the report went out on this red candle. Let me zoom in here for you. The report went out on this red candle. I said we would go up and we did right to this, right to the end of the line there is where I said we would go up and then we came right back down. And now the spiders is on a key support level. I'm going to erase this line and what I'm going to do is redraw another line for my forecast next week. This is what I think we will see for next week. Again, another bullish engulfing pattern which is a bounce off of the support level that I drew from last week on higher volume. That is bullish but don't get too excited and I'll tell you why in a little bit why we should not be selling the house and selling the kids to go buy stocks. We need to be very cautious in this market because there's a lot going on that you may not have seen that raises some caution flags for me in the overall market with regard to the risk. Now if we look at the Qs, that's QQQ, that's the NASDAQ market, you'll see that there's another bullish engulfing pattern. Now the NASDAQ did not go up as high as I thought it would, but it did go right to the support level that I drew. And again, bullish engulfing pattern right here on higher volume with gaps above the market. What does that mean? There's a good chance we will rally up, and I'm drawing that angle for you, in place now so that you can see what happens next week. If you like, take a screenshot of this and save it and then compare it when we look at next week's report. Again, my goal is to show you how to do this. I could do this all day long and I have been doing it for 34 years, but my goal is to teach you how to fish for yourself more or less. And once you've learned how to read the charts, your percentage of accuracy will go up and again your profits will most likely reflect that. So this is my new forecast line for the Qs. Again, don't get too excited because there's a major resistance line up here that we can very well pull back from and then watch out below. Okay, let's look at the diamonds. Took a symbol DIA to Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF. Same thing applies just like the spiders. I'm going to move this line basically over a little bit because we have, again, another bullish engulfing pattern on higher volume. 
By the way, look at this volume. Last week, I forecasted that we would see a drop in volume right there. That was drawn last week, and that's exactly what we had. So I'm not just forecasting price action. I'm even forecasting the volume activity. And what I see here is a bullish engulfing pattern on the diamonds, on the Russell 2000, on the spiders. That tells me that the buyers are looking for a short-term pop for a quick profit, and then we'll see profit-taking move, which will push prices a little bit lower. Now, if we look at the VIX, this is a volatility index. I left my lines on here as well. I said that we would see a move higher. We did a little bit, but it didn't quite go as high here. So I would say out of all the forecasts, this is probably the least accurate. But I'm not going to say it was wrong because we did bounce off of that support level. This is a bearish engulfing pattern for the VIX. What does that mean? Well, the VIX is a contrarian indicator to the S&P. So if we're going to see a bullish engulfing pattern on the S&P, we're going to see a bearish engulfing pattern on the VIX. Now, here's the support level for the VIX right there from these lows right here. Here's my forecast for the VIX. Again, take a screenshot if you like. I think we're going to go right back down to test that support level, and then I think we'll bounce. Okay, if you can take a screenshot, take that right now. Boom, clip it, save it, and compare it for next week's market report, and you'll see, again, how accurate things are. There's a couple things going on that I want to make sure you are aware of, and this is why I'm not so bullish for the long term. In fact, I'm extremely bearish for the long term so we're not going to be holding any long-term positions on the long side this is a graph this is a tough one to look at but this is a graph of our national debt if you look at this the national debt is accelerating in an almost vertical move and the US Congress is doing nothing to control it and that's what's most disturbing they're doing absolutely nothing to control the debt now China and Russia have been holding our debt but guess what they're selling u.s treasuries in the billions and something is getting ready to happen if the world is not willing to hold u.s debt any longer then we are in extreme risk of a market collapse this past year we're at 18 trillion and that's just what's being calculated without medicare without social security without food stamps and all those other social programs in there we're way over 18 trillion in national debt and something is going to give eventually the amount of debt that we've taken in in the past 12 months is more than what we accumulated in the first 200 years of our country's history that is staggering and something is going to blow there's going to be a circuit breaker that blows and when it does watch out below now don't fear that do not fear that because you can actually make a lot of money on the way down there's bear funds there's gold there's silver there's a lot you can do and if you stay in touch with the market guys I'll show you exactly what to do with your money so you're not putting it at risk in a down market the people especially the investors who are holding on at the top are going to be devastated this could put them back a decade or more in profits and I'm not talking about this lightly this is a very serious matter and everyone really needs to take a look at that now the other thing is margin debt take a look at this this blue line represents the S&P 500 and that's inflation adjusted the red line represents the margin debt now that's the amount of money that investors are borrowing more or less on credit from their broker that's as good as you taking a credit card to go buy a stock portfolio. Very, very bad. And if you look at the divergence between margin debt over the years as compared to the S&P, you'll see that the most extreme divergences occurred right before major market collapses. In 2000, what happened? Boom, the bubble broke. In 2007, what happened? The real estate bubble broke into 2008, collapse. Look at this. In 2015, 2016, the divergence is the widest it's been in U.S. history. Folks, this is nothing to mess around with. Do not take any new long positions. Stay in touch with the market guys. We will show you exactly what to do. I am not charging you anything for this report. This is absolutely free. 
and I will continue to do what I can to, to shout from the highest rooftops with my bullhorn to make sure people are aware of what's going on. There's a major bubble here, and if you're ignoring it, you're putting you, your family, and maybe even your grandkids at risk. This is a financial matter that everyone needs to be paying attention to. Now, thank you so much for joining this week. Stay tuned with the market, guys. I'll continue to do my best to give you this news each and every week and give you the education you deserve to learn how to read candle charts with great accuracy. Have a great weekend, folks. This video segment is a small part of what the Market Guys offer through their educational products and services. If you are interested in any of our trade alert services or you would like more information about our one-on-one -on -one mentoring program, simply contact us at info at